Hi everyone, my name is Sir Mathis and tonight I am going a tutorial. I'm going to do a tutorial for exercise 12-11a. So this is quite a long problem. Bear with me. Um, I have a comb. Okay, so we're gonna be doing a statement of cash flows for Sandland Company. So let's go back up. Here is our information and First of all, we have a comparative balance sheets for this company from 2016 and 2017. And also we have additional information provided to complete the statement of cash flows. So first, on top, we will put our date for the year ended, December 31st, 2017. And in our first item here, we have cash flows from operating activities. First, we have the net income of 43,586. So as you can see, there's already the answer here. I have done this um, earlier, actually yesterday. So, um, and let me show you how I got that number. So let me go back up right here. The net income is provided in the additional information in item number four for 43,566 for 2017 okay now let's go back on our second item depreciation expense okay or before i go to that number we will have the adjustments to reconcile net income to net cash provided by operating activities so my first item here is depreciation expense for 49,476 and it is also located here and the additional information in item number one 49,476 there you go now this one second item loss on disposal of plant assets okay 2,356 let me show you how i got into that number um okay so here the on item number five the company had sold an equipment at the book value of eleven thousand seven hundred eighty but the proceed was nine thousand uh four twenty four so that would be um let's see let me go back to my excel here eleven thousand um 780 minus 9424 so loss on disposing this plant acid is 2356 right there and then we have the decrease in account receivable so let's go back up uh, the comprehensive balance sheet in the account receivable in 2016 the company had 68,324 and in 2017 there was uh, 58,900 the difference between these two is first 68,324 uh, minus 58,900 uh, 9424. Uh, put it in there under decreasing account receivable of 9424. And then the company had an increase in inventory. And this information is provided right here in the assets section of the balance sheet and um, inventory. In 2016, the company had 167,276, and in 2017, 178,408. So, um, 178,408 minus um, 167,276. Total of 11,100. 32. The reason why I put this in a 
uh, parentheses because I am going to be going to um, deduct this from these numbers. Okay. So uh, I know that in uh, if there is an increase, it should be deducted. Okay. So uh, next is decrease in prepaid expenses. Okay, prepaid expenses. Um, let's see. Let's go back up. Um, there it is in in the balance sheet in 2016. There was a 24,738 prepaid expense. 24,000. 738 minus 18,000. So 6,738. There it is. And then increase in accounts payable. Let's go back up. Accounts payable. So it is the this information is found in liabilities and stockholders equity. And in 2016, the accounts payable of the company was 42408 And in 2017, was 52692 So again, we're going to find the difference. 52692 Minus 42.408 is 10,284 in increase. Okay. Now we can total these items together. So we have 49,476 plus 2,356 plus 9,424 minus 11,132 plus 6,738 plus 10,284. Total is 67,146. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to add these two items together, the net income to the um, total here, or the subtotal of these items right here. So it would be um, 4,386 for the net income plus. 67146 and the total or the net cash provided by operating activities is 110,732 okay so now we have our um, last category here sorry I keep scrolling the cash flows from investing activities our first item here is purchase of equipment Okay, so I have found this information in the additional um, information being redundant provided by the problem. So here, the company purchased an equipment for 108376 in cash. And so... I'm just going to um, input this directly here. So I know that, okay, that's the the cost that was going up. So 108,376. And then there was the sale of land, which was 29,450. So how I got into that number is uh, first, I took the difference or the increase of the land from between 2016 and 2017. So um, first, um, it will, in 2017, there was an increase. So the land was now 170, 170 
and 810 and then I will minus the 2016 153140 so that would be 17,670 and then in item number six as we can see the company issued 47,120 shares of one dollar par value common stock were issued in exchange for land with a fair value of 47,120 so in um I will take this number 47,120 and minus that to the, uh, the difference that I got from the, the asset here so from the balance sheet under land okay which was the total of between these two was 17,670 so and I have got that number is 29,000 450 and then just um, put it here and the sale of land that's kept to see and then we have the sale of equipment so this one too is located or can be found in the additional information which is the this number 9424 and just uh, and put it there now we can find out the total of these numbers by what I did I just took the hundred eight thousand three hundred seventy six and then I minus the twenty nine four five zero and then I minus the nine four two four so the total is 69,502. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Bye.